Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze the Bitcoin price as usual and also go over into the DXY and Ethereum price. So currently both Ethereum and the Bitcoin are pumping and we are in this consolidation phase where we're gonna gear up for the next bigger move potentially to the upside. Everything is still looking bullish but keep in mind for short term we could still see this possible retest of the 200 moving average here in the 4 hour right at $35,000. So since I was in a long position and now got stopped out with this week to the downside that we had yesterday I'm looking for a new long position and in the 1 hour time frame you can see that we are trading right along the 9 and 20 moving average so also here it looks like that we maybe could see one last little leg down towards 36 or 35 thousand dollar before we gear up for the next move to the upside but overall we should expect the price to go higher here in the next couple of hours and days because the four hour in the Bitcoin price is still looking very bullish we're trading above the nine moving average right now and also with this week that we had yesterday we just came down to the 20 moving average and although you can see that all other moving averages slowly are coming above the 200 and that of course is a very bullish sign and we should expect continuation here to the upside especially since now we are creating higher highs in the four hour time frame. So the important thing is that if we're going to see another little last leg to the downside towards 36 to 35 thousand dollar make sure to open up a long position there or at least start to DCA into a long because I think there we most likely gonna create a higher low like we're doing already now and like that also gear up for the next move to the upside we got here a sell signal yesterday that's why also i let my long position stopped out so like that i locked in the profits and now i'm looking for another good long opportunity so so far we don't have any kind of uh, buy signal and i think maybe we have to cool off here a little bit more otherwise it's a bit a risky trade if you go long right here although if we have a look into the rsi you can see that we are still bouncing here from this green trend line and we're getting here into a, a quite overbought condition here in the rsi so if we're gonna lose here the support and we're gonna initiate here a drop then of course this could also lead into a massive uh, sell-off maybe even below 35 uh, to uh, 36 thousand dollar and in that case we maybe have to target here the previous support that we had here with this double bottom here at 30 thousand dollar that is in the cards maybe if the rsi is falling off from this green trend line but overall we should expect here the price to go higher and higher in the next coming hours and now if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that also yesterday we had a bullish close above the 9 and 20 daily moving average the 9 daily is at the moment here at 35,000 so that's why it makes very much sense if we would come down here to retest and confirm this moving average as a support because since we broke out to the upside from this moving average and from this resistance we never came down to test it so let's see if we're going to have this retest of the 9 daily or 20 daily moving average here between 35 to 34,000. There we most likely could see another big bounce to the upside and a good long opportunity. Because we got here a buy signal in my own indicator in the daily when we were down here at around $33,000. And based here on the RSI and my own indicator we would have in theory still a lot of room left here to the upside but we have to keep an eye here if we're gonna lose here this green trend line in the RSI and also in my own indicator we maybe could flash with a sell signal we could maybe see first another leg down at least towards a 9 daily or 20 daily moving average so even though Bitcoin is looking very bullish and I'm expecting to go higher that's why I'm also looking for long positions keep in mind that we still could get here another little leg down towards these important moving averages and if those will not hold then we could even fall towards 30k and potentially even towards 20k $20,000 is still in the cards my friends so keep in mind that we could even drop towards that level because if we go over into the bigger time frames like the weekly here you can see that the rsi is still in overbought condition and we still got here this confirmed sell signal and as long as here we are not getting another buy signal even up here i think that the risk is still here that we could drop towards the 20 weekly moving average which currently is right here at 22 
thousand dollar we are still very overbought in the rsi in the weekly but of course bitcoin could just ignore that warning sign here and continue to go towards 50 and 60k at any time because we are looking very bullish but keep in mind that we are not completely out of the woods yet since we still have to take out this all-time high that we had here at $42,000. Once this high is getting broken again, then a possible bearish scenario that we could drop towards 20k, my opinion, is denied because in that case there is also not anymore the risk that we could maybe even create here a double top which is a bearish pattern because that indicates usually a local top and then we're gonna have a bigger crash towards one of the important supports that we have down below here at around 20k so the important thing is that even if we see continuation to the upside that we also are going to take out this $42,000 this in my opinion would be really the worst case scenario if here we're gonna create a double top formation and we're gonna then start a huge correction down towards 20k that would be really the worst case scenario because otherwise everything is pointing out that we will see continuation to the upside and potentially take out very quickly this 42,000 all-time high and go straight towards 50 and 60 thousand dollar the only problem that i still have is here in the dxy my friends because the dxy is still pumping we are breaking out from this falling wedge that we were in here in the last couple of days and weeks and this is what is concerning me the most and is the main reason why i think bitcoin could still head towards 20k because if here we're gonna see follow through this could be dangerous for bitcoin it doesn't mean that bitcoin has to crash if the dxy is pumping but if the dxy continues to go higher here you can see that now we are reaching our target of the 100 daily moving average and if we are able to create a support above we could go even towards the 200 daily moving average at 94 dollars and that doesn't mean that the dxy will go back in a bull market and the opposite will happen in the bitcoin price that we will go back into a bear market this is not what i'm saying i'm just saying that as long as the dxy is pumping here towards the 200 daily moving average we could see at any time a crash in the stock market and also of course in the bitcoin price so this dxy pump that we are seeing right now is very dangerous doesn't mean that we have to crash but it is dangerous for the bitcoin price and that's why we have to keep a very close eye here what the dxy is doing and latest with its next big rejection here at the 100 daily moving average like we also had here back in november last year or latest here at the 200 daily moving average i'm expecting their huge rejections and then of course if the dxy is starting to plunge again to the downside we're gonna see big fireworks in the bitcoin price and overall also in the stock market so that's why we have to keep a very close eye here what the dxy is doing because currently we are pumping here and as long as here we're not getting any kind of a sell signal or another daily close below the 9 or 20 daily moving average we should expect the dxy to go higher and higher and the higher we go the more dangerous it is for the crypto market and now we're gonna have a look into the ethereum price because ethereum is still very bullish my friends we had now this breakout from this ascending triangle we also took out this potential rejection area up here at around 1600 dollar and right now we are closing these daily candles above the nine daily moving average which right now is here at 1500 dollar so if bitcoin is coming down towards 34 or 35000 and have a bounce there i'm expecting ethereum to come down towards the nine daily moving average to retest here this previous resistance at 1500 and from here on create a bottom and gear up for the next big move to the upside which will take us for sure way above 2000 dollar so also here on ethereum i'm very bullish my friends I'm, I'm expecting here also continuation to the upside even though maybe in the lower time frames we could still get here another last little leg down towards the previous resistance confirm it as a new support and then gear up to the upside again and this is also how we should trade this so if you're opening right now very high leveraged trades on ethereum or bitcoin this could be very dangerous so always make sure as soon as we're gonna see a breakout that first we're gonna confirm it as a new support and then have the bounce and the big pump to the upside because this is how you can get best entries and also the best results in the performance of your trade 
So let's see if we are getting this confirmation of this new support also here in the Bitcoin price. I think latest there it will be good to open up a nice long position so we can ride it up towards the next levels. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Keep in mind that we still have this special Prime XPT bonus going on right now. You find all the coupon codes down below here in the video description. Also use all my referral links to sign up to Prime XPT, Bybit, Femex and so on. Also Binance, because like this you will get extra money and also like this you can buy more crypto and you support the channel of course also if you still look for a valentine's present for this year ledger has a very special promotion so check it out the link is down below here if you want to purchase maybe a ledger for your girlfriend or wife that's the best present on earth to do and also a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat down below here is the link to get access to our great crypto community it's completely for free everyone is welcome you just have to click on the invitation link down below here in the video description and go here to the read first site and click the thumbs up button to confirm that you are a human and not a bot so you can enter the chat and this is also where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin so the one that you can see down below here for a little donation you can get the full indicator or just get the access to my live stream so thank you again very much for watching my friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I do daily TA videos. Also tick that little bell next to the subscription button so you always get notified as soon as I upload the video. And also don't forget to hit that nice like button just down below here. Thank you again my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.